Hey Yoda! <laughs> Say hello to our friends! Say hello to our friends, yeah! Watch out, you're gonna fall down! There is an edge over there! Watch out! <laughs> you're so funny! Hi everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Druchodielky and uh, we will be crocheting a little rug like this. Yeah, you want my hand, don't you? Um, uh, this rug is um, about 17 inches times 24 inches and it's gonna be for our bathroom <laughs> bathroom or whatever whatever I uh, you know whatever you would like to use it and actually you could go and make it bigger if you want it's very easy pattern to make and uh, uh, also um, you could also make it into a blankie if you want so that's it Shall we go and show them how to do it? Yes, let's go show them how to crochet this pattern, this rug. <laughs> you're my buddy. Huh, Yoda? You're my buddy. Oh, I know you love me. I know I love you too. <laughs> this uh, little rug for the bathroom is uh, uh, about 17 inches wide and I'm still working on the length it's gonna be um, at least one more time this what you see right here okay um, and this pattern is basically a repetition of four stitches um, so I have I have 10 repeats right in here for this rug, okay, plus three stitches. So it's 40 stitches plus three, so 43 stitches. So far I've been working with one ball of uh, this Bernard blanket uh, yarn. Um, and uh, actually I was trying to step on it and it's really cushy, so I really like uh, the way it it uh, it goes against my feet. Uh, you can also make this uh, pattern for a, a, a blanket um, or um, bed cover, you know, bed spread. Uh, I, I really love it. Uh, if you want to make um, a big bed spread, you would need several of those. Let me show you just on four repeats. Like I said, I have 10 repeats on my uh, little rug and this one is going to be only four repeats and then I'll take it apart and continue uh, crocheting my my rug. Anyway, so you make your first uh, uh, first knot to start and like I told you, if you're doing four repeats and each repeat has four stitches, then you need to do 16 uh, uh, chain stitches so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six and plus three stitches for the other end okay other other side so this is one two three okay let me show you actually four stitch repeat four stitch repeat four 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 four, four. and these are my three stitches extra so we don't end up with just this uh, looking edge okay so we do need only three instead of four okay so the the both sides are the same okay so we have 19 stitches in here and our first three stitches this one this one and this one are supposed to be uh, three initial side uh, uh, stitches and then the last ones one two three these are gonna be also 
our last uh, uh, side stitches. Now the first uh, chain over here, this one, is going to be part of our chain 3 stitch. So right now we need to do only two chain stitches and we're not going to go into this one, we're going to go into the next one. So you will probably count fourth chain stitch. One, two, three, four. And this is where you will make your first double crochet stitch. So yarn over through two loops and two loops, okay? And now again, this is going to be our next one. So now every single chain stitch will have double crochet stitch. So if you start on, let's say, um, uh, 10 repeats like I did, okay, then you should have 43 double crochet stitches, including these chain three. Okay, so I will have to have uh, four times four is sixteen plus three. I should have nineteen double crochet stitches, including my first three chain stitches. So let me finish this row and let's go and count if that is true. You have to set up yourself um, so you don't, uh, you don't make any mistakes, so you don't have your uh, blankie or your uh, rug or whatever you're going to be using uh, this pattern for, so you don't have it uh, done in a wrong way, okay? Few more double crochet stitches and as you see every single chain stitch has one double crochet stitch, okay? And this is my last, okay, this is my last chain. This is, this is not a chain. Don't confuse this one with the chain, okay? So this was my last chain. So let's go and count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, six, eight. And this one is nine. So I have 19 uh, double crochet stitches just like I uh, was planning to have. Okay. And now we are going to start working on the pattern. This is row two, and then I will do row three. And these two rows, row two and, and three, will repeat. So we will do again first one two, three stitches, three chain stitches, and now we will work on first um, two double crochet stitches. Okay, so this is our first double crochet stitch, although it's not really double crochet stitch, but it represents double crochet stitch, and then we will work on these two, and our fourth is going to be done in a different way. So we will go around, if you spread your uh, double crochet stitch, you will go in there, okay, you, from the front here, behind it, and you will make a double crochet stitch. So this is our first double crochet stitch, and we will do one more. So this is our beginning, okay? 
So every beginning is going to start like this. Three double crochet stitches and then two double crochet stitches that where you grab it behind each of these. Okay. Now the fourth one is going to be that you will go also around this double crochet stitch but you will go from here. So you will go from the back to the front and then you will go back out to the back. You grab it, okay? If you want you can you can uh, reposition your fingers and you just pull this yarn through like that and you will do your double crochet stitch. Two loops and two loops, okay? So, and now we will do three. Okay, so remember the beginning is different with only two plus one in the opposite direction. And from now on we will do three and fourth opposite direction. Three from the front and the fourth from the back. Okay, so let me show you. So now we will do one, two, three around around each of these loops, okay, from the front, in front of you. So this is first double crochet stitch. Now here is another one, double crochet stitch. One more, that's our third. Okay, from front. So we did it here in the front. And now our fourth one is going to be done from the back. So what you have to go with your hook, go in the back, to the front, back into back. Okay, if you want, again, help yourself. Oh, I forgot to do yarn over. You have to do yarn over when you're doing double crochet stitches. Okay, and you pull the yarn through and two loops and two loops. Okay, now position yourself again to do the ones here in front. Don't start uh, crocheting over here now because you would go and twist it. You don't want that, right? Okay, so, and we have to go from front again. So three double crochet stitches around the one on the from previous row. One double crochet stitch, two double crochet stitch, and three double crochet stitch. And now what we have to do? We have to go from the back. We go here and here and we pull the yarn through and we make our double crochet stitch and position ourselves again to do three. So one, two, and three. Now we will do fourth again and that's going to go from the back. So four, okay? So every fourth one is the back one and first three ones are always uh, in the front. And we're at the end and this is where we have one, two and three stitches for our edge, okay? So, and we will do it this way, we will do only two from the front around those uh, stitches, those double crochet stitches, so that's one and two and two and now this one we will do just in a regular way, okay? So we will go into a top chain stitch and we will make a double crochet stitch. And 
Um, so now imagine if you're working, like I said, with uh, 40 stitches or 60, let me see, 60, 64 plus 367 stitches, then you have to do these repeats more, you know, several more times. I have only four repeats in here, okay? And now we will turn around and look how it looks. It's starting to look perfect, right? Now the third row is going to be done differently. Uh, so you will make your three chain stitches, which are double crochet stitch. You will do two in the beginning, two regular double crochet stitches, regular, no wrapping around, just go into each stitch and make one double crochet stitch. Okay, so those will be three. And you will actually see now that this one is in a third row is going to be where you wrap it from the front. So you will go here from the front and you wrap it and you go up and pull it up and make your double crochet stitch. And then you make a uh, three double crochet stitches regular way again, okay? So it's this one, so you will have to go here, don't go back here, okay? Go in here, so right there. And next one, double crochet stitch in a regular way, no wrapping around, and one more. And our fourth one, is going to be wrap around. So we will go around right here. Okay. Now we have our three stitches here again. So we will go here, here, and here. So this is going to be our first double crochet stitch. second double crochet stitch and third double crochet stitch. Okay, and now you see this is our wrap around wrap around stitch. So we will do wrap around, pull it up a little bit, okay? And again, three stitches. Sorry, just needed more uh, yarn here. Um, two and three. Sometimes it's not easy to uh, videotape with uh, with tripod in front of you. Okay, and now here another one, knit or crochet. And this is the wrap around. That was our fourth one. And this is our edge, which we will do in a regular way. One, two, and three double crochet stitches. One double crochet stitch in each chain. I mean each double crochet stitch from uh, previous row. And this one is our um, chain three. Okay, so now it looks like this. And we will repeat row two. That means we will turn around. We will do three double crochet, I mean three chain. And now two, two wrap arounds in the front because this one is the wrap around from the back, okay? You see? So here is going to be wrap around here and here, only two because we have that chain three stitch there which would be otherwise wrap around also but it's not. Okay, and now our fourth stitch for a double crochet stitch is wrap around from the from the back. Okay, so wrap around, you pull it up and do a double crochet stitch. Okay, and the next one, wrap around here, that's one, two, 
and three and wrap around from the back and over here wrap around from the back you can also check where you're supposed to wrap it around so you will know that this is you see I did it correctly because it's making that line over here okay and again wrap around three double crochet stitches one more that's my third and now my wrap around in the back so you see right there this is my line so that's where I want to wrap it around and now we will do three again one two and I don't have enough yarn again and three and again in the back you can always check you know so we will do it from the back and we have three last stitches which this one and this one is gonna be wrapped up these two and the last one is going to be regular. That's going to be just the edge. And one in a regular way. No wrap around. Just go into that chain three. So that was the repetition of our um, second row. And this is going to be a repetition of our third row. So chain three. Two regular uh, double crochet stitches in next two consecutive uh, stitches from previous row okay so uh, otherwise we have one two three right and now we will be wrapping the fourth one in the front and wrap around in the front make a double crochet stitch and again we will go and make one two three and wrap around double crochet stitch so number one double crochet stitch number two double crochet stitch in the next stitch number three in the next stitch so that's three double crochet stitches and now the wrap around the fourth is wrap around double crochet stitch and again three double crochet stitches one and two and three and wrap around and wrap around that was our wrap around double crochet stitch right there and again three one and two and three and wrap around and our edge and you know how our edge is right it's three regular stitches so this is one two uh oh look at this is it gonna be hiding? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. One and two and three. This is our third one. Okay, and um, then if I would go and repeat my number two row, I would end up with the, on the other side, on it over here, just like on this side. Okay. So as you see, I finished my third row on my rug, and now I have to do uh, uh, row number two. Continue with, and this is my back. Okay, this is how the back looks like, and I will just continue doing my three 
stitches here in the beginning and then this is my fourth wraparound from the back three wraparound from the front three wraparound from the back and I'll continue so when I'm finished with my length the way I want how long I want this rug to be uh, I will continue knitting around to make a, an extra edge there uh, so it doesn't curl up like that you see I kind of don't like this curling up all right I just wanted to show you how much I have done from one ball of the yarn and uh, this is uh, I still need to go and finish this row and uh, I decided that I want to do at least two more of these repeats this is four rows from here to here is two rows and from here to here is two rows so four more rows to make it a little longer I don't think it's long enough okay and I need to finish uh, with this one short row like this to be exactly the same way like here in on this side okay and uh, like I said before then after that we will crochet all around so here I am uh, with about 24 inches in the length and like I said before 17 inches in the width and um, uh, I finished my last row that I was doing uh, those three double crochet stitches from the front and then one from the back okay when you go in um, make the double crochet stitch wrapped around in the back three in the front one in the back three in the front one in the back um, and now this is going to be our front uh, front side or right side and we need to crochet all around because our corners are kind of curling okay so I decided that I will uh, basically um, crochet uh, just like I would do in a corner I will do um, I will have two and two double crochet stitches separated by one uh, stitch one chain stitch in the corner and then everything else is going to be just uh, crocheted in a regular way okay so over here what I will do is I will make three chain and in the same stitch I will do a double crochet stitch okay and later on when I come all around I will do two more double crochet stitches into this corner right here and then one chain and connect it together okay so we have that roundness in the corner but right now I will crochet into every single stitch in here except over here I will go around in the front okay so I will crochet these stitches in a regular way and that means that I will make double crochet stitch in in uh, these two uh, stitches and my next stitch as you know as you may see is basically uh, the one where we need to go under in the front under wrap around right and then make that double crochet stitch that relief double crochet stitch now I will make uh, three double crochet stitches in a regular way so into each stitch one double crochet and we have three of them now uh, I have noticed I already downloaded uh, and was working a little bit on my video and I have noticed that this 
this lightness is making it uh, quite difficult to see so I, I really apologize this is digital camera so you really cannot I cannot really do it at the moment any other way so hopefully you can see what I am doing uh, anyway so I did three regular double crochet stitches and I will make fourth fourth stitch as a relief that means from the front okay so it's because all this is on the front that means I have to go around this one around this one in from the front as well okay and now again I will go and make regular way three double crochet stitches and I will continue like this all uh, all the way to the end of this side all the way to this corner okay and now we will do four stitches right here four double crochet stitches in this corner right here okay so I will do this is my first one and two and like I said before we will make one chain and we will make two more double crochet stitches in the same spot like where we did these last two okay so one and two and we basically made um, we made a corner we made it round and now we can continue going this way okay and it's going to be the same way now what is happening I'm not really sure if you can see it because the way the uh, this light um, this light uh, uh, yarn reflects in the camera um, it's not very good but as you know this is my other side that is going lengthwise right uh, so I have a double crochet stitch here and double crochet stitch in here so what I need to do is basically three stitches in here so one two okay and three and this is gonna be my relief so we are going to make that uh, stand out so we kind of continue in that stand out or you know uh, 3d uh, double crochet stitch right in there okay and then we will repeat the same thing one two three and 3d does it make sense can you see it a little bit I hope so so let's go and make the 3d right now which is right here so 3d stitch and now we will make three double crochet stitches along these along this this, uh, this part so somewhere in here is going to be one and here is gonna be one that's going that's two and one more here okay So we have three of them and now we make that 3D double crochet stitch. Okay, so you can see that is becoming a 3D right here. Okay, that's what we want. We want this to sunk in and this to show up. Okay and so er along this side which is that uh, long side 24 inches side and this side on the other side on the opposite side we will do the same thing like what we are doing right here so let me show you one more time so this is one on this stitch then in between kind of stitches you will go and make one one that's two of them two regular and this is my third regular and now my fourth one is that 3d looking 
double crochet stitch okay hope you can see it so I'm finished with my long side right here okay and I still have one more short side and one more long side to do and let me just show you a little bit over here so we, what we need to do is this 3d um, double crochet stitch in front okay and now we need to do two double crochet stitches right in here so this is one and two right here and now here in this corner right here we will do two double crochet stitches chain and two double crochet stitches okay so this is one double crochet stitch two chain and two double crochet stitches that's one and two so we did basically exactly the same thing in this corner what we did in this corner okay now what I will do is continue with these so over here I will do one two double crochet stitches regular one double crochet stitch from the front which is that 3d and then start doing those three you see we have three in here so we will do one two three and then four through this way okay that will be that 3d stitch that wrap stitch from the front and again three and then the 3d stitch three stitches regular way and one stitch the uh, from underneath in here and continue all the way over here to this corner and actually on this this and this is the short side okay so when you get over here you will finish with this one this will be your last uh, stitch that is 3d and then you will do one two stitches regular way and here in this corner you will do two double crochet stitches chain two double crochet stitches okay and then you will continue with 3d or through uh, the front and then three regular stitches and that 3d stitch through the front right here like that okay and regular stitches and 3d stitch three regular stitches 3d stitch all the way over here and over here what you need to do is you will go through regular you know 3d stitch when you go from underneath okay and then you will have to do one two stitches here and then finish in the corner with two double crochet stitches in this, this same spot where you started and one chain and connect it and that will be it does it make sense i hope so Theo and Yoda and I we would like to go and tell you thank you thank you very much for watching our videos uh, you can go and share by clicking on any of the links below the video right Yoda Yoda say thank you thank you very much for following us for being our fans okay and we will see you another time right yes we will see you another time yes yes Okay, bye everybody! Give me the blanket, Yoda! Give me the rug! Yoda! Give me the rug! Come on, get off! Get off, Yoda! Come on! Get off my... Get off my rug! <laughs>
<laughs> oh. Come on, get off my rug. Get off my rug. <laughs> oh, you want petting, huh? You want petting, I know you want petting.